Oh, you pronounce botany differently than I intended? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I always heard it pronounced when I was in school and stuff, but I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing with pronunciations, so... <sighs> botany Manor. Um... I heard good things about this. The main thing I heard was, um... The main negative thing I heard was that, uh... It was $25 and it's a three-hour game, but I don't really care, so... Botany Manor, Somerset, 1890. Ooh. Oh, we need to possibly raise some sensitivity in things. Let's add it. Oh my god, the sensitivity here is wild. Ugh, pull it. Okay. Everything's looking good here. Where's my mouse sensitivity? Motion sickness? Hmm. Here we go. Let's turn that camera sensitivity down. Oh. Okay, I think this is fine. Hmm. It does take quite a few, uh... You know, I'm lazy. I don't like, uh... For me moving the camera to actually take that much work. Never mind. Let's... Up there. It's mostly just the menus where it's too much. Okay, so uh, for anybody that doesn't know, hi penis cactus. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, what this game is about is finding like I don't I don't know like, endangered species of like flowers and plants, and you have to find their natural habitat so you can like restore them or something. So I'm sure the game will explain, but that's the gist of it from what I remember. Ah, uh, it's the parcel that I have to collect. Had you a penis, penis cactus? I bet I did. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Mayflower Publishing House. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this, uh, please send this empty herbarium back to us once you've completed your research, and we'll be in touch with a potential author. Sincerely, Mayflower, Mayflower Publishing House. Bleh. Words. I can do them. Sometimes. Possibly. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. But yeah, I mean, if people wanted an extra day besides Dragon's Crown of me playing whatever I wanted, I, I think I could fill it in with some things. But, uh, I hadn't planned to. I planned for Dragon's Crown to be one of my chosen ones. Basically, since that was my homework. It was fun though, I had a great time with Dragon's Crown. And I'm sure I'll have an even more uh, fun time playing with everyone else now that multiplayer is unlocked. Because I'm sure it won't be chaos at all. One, a fresh start. Collect seeds. Wah. Oh, sh sh calm down. Windmill warts. Anemone Fabrua. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, or conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. I have not filled in all the right clues for this plant. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Seeds in inventory, that's what I got. Potting instructions. Place pot on saucer. Add soil to plant. Plant a seed. Water the seed. Dragon's crown was <laughs> leafy spick, not yours, so it doesn't qualify. I suppose that is fair. Bring back the Amazon? No, we're too busy throwing our seed in things. We're too, we're too busy planting our seed. Scoop soil. Um, plant a seed. Okay. I can, uh... I can, I can, I can do that. How do I, how do I open my, uh... Inventory? Here we go. Windmill wart. And water the seed. Wow, come on, the water's not gonna come out that. We barely tipped it. Okay, so... Now, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Now what next? Raxby has a point? Alright, I'll find- I'll find another thing to play. I'll see if I can- I'll see if I can put something together. But... 
If I just randomly choose for the fifth day to say fuck it and play Tetris Effect for three hours, that's on all of you. What do you do? Oh. Oh, I'm turning this higher. We're burning ourselves up in here. Okay. Wildflowers. Windmill, wart, checkered lily, sword lily, daffodil. Wildflowers. Those are wildflowers. Okay. Uh, ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean wildflowers. Okay. At least I don't have to do the chemical equations again like we did in what's it called. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help organize and validate your research. I have not filled in all of the clues for this plant. Where are my clues, though? There we go, chapter one clues. Wildflowers. I have a list of those. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Plain the heck, I'm a plant. Escape simulator? Oh, wait, what did I say? Did I say- what- did I say something else? Escape Academy? Escape Academy is the one I played on the channel. There's too many escape things. Oh, we know you want to solve escape sim puzzles again? Vraxby saw me at my worst when I absolutely fell apart at the end because my body was betraying me because of hunger, so... Ah, the heat vent. So that's what we adjust that to the correct temperature. Postcard from Marianne. Uh, hey. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me that the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the ha flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory? Your friend and uh, Pierre Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog! I can barely see! Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions! Great. Thank you. And... Okay, so... A, a bespoke temperature. And it grows in Sicily. So... Sicily. Okay. We just have to nail down what volcanic flower. So it needs 60 degrees Celsius. Uh huh. There you go. Open the heat vent. Hey, I did it! I did the thing! Oh, did I say what's it called? God, I do that a lot. Leafy and I managed to cooperate. Gondola and I were pretty, pretty, worked pretty well together. Raxby and I worked very well together until anything was expected of me, basically. And then it, 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 it everything fell apart. <laughs> I just loved going into the chat when you and Leafy were solving a room and it was just screaming at each other. Pretty slay. Hey, Volcano. Uh, the windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. I haven't filled in all the clues for this plant. Add clue. Um, postcard. And wildflowers. There's still one more clue that I apparently did not pick up, but I solved. It. I didn't need that clue. I was, uh too strong for that clue. Okay, well we have this done. So... What now? I'm gonna set you right here. Enjoy. Okay, so this gets us... out here. God, this reminds me of a game I played on the channel a very, very long time ago. It was a puzzle game called Mask of Mists. The game was super cool. Oh, we can just sit. Take it all in, you know? Take a break. Sit down on a seat. There we are. Look at that. God, I would live here. I know that's a really crazy thing to say. I mean, who would live here? But it's very nice. Papa Squat getting an achievement? Damn right. Alright. 
Drawing from nature. Drawing from nature. Can I open it? It's just... Nope. Okay. Nothing inside. Nothing. Okay. Uh... It's all that's here. Um... I feel like I need a little bit more. Let's go over here. Hi. Ooh. Musical stingers. Oh my god. This makes me think of like a Spyro the Dragon world. Which I mean in, as a huge, huge, massive compliment because Spyro the Dragon worlds are very beautiful. Extremely nice. Has that same sort of otherworldly beauty aspect. Fairy tale almost. Ooh, a key. Um, entrance garden. Okay. Not found. Yep, there, there's still a clue back there. I feel like bugs would live here? Oh, absolutely. My wife would love a garden like this. Hell, I would love a garden like this. I just can't garden. But I would try. Home of the Green Family. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Okay. Ding! Nothing? Okay, that's it. Two dings, that's all we get. Okay, so I have a key. Let's go see... Haha! Open it Dark Souls style? Opening it Dark Souls style would be... We... At like, about an hour or two later, we come back around there and open that door and we're like, Where the hell are we at? And then it's like, Oh my god, it's a shortcut! My bonfire's right over here! That seemed very loud. Let me know if the music ever gets loud. That seemed quite loud. I also fixed my audio stuff in, um, in OBS and stuff from where I screwed it up earlier, so, uh... I can edit things in post, too, if I ever need. Okay, oh god, oh no, not the provision, not the provision? Not the decision paralysis is what I'm trying to make word happen. Ooh, hi. Cane? It's a walking stick. It, it, it is. It is indeed a walking stick, you are correct. <gasps> oh, cute sun hat! Give me the sun hat. Let me wear it. Oh. I cannot properly describe how hard I would read a book in this little nook. I would read a book so hard right here. I might not even sit on the bench. I might curl up on the grass and read the book, possibly in the shade if it got a little bit too hot. Got a little window. Oh, this would be such a great place to play hide and seek in. Oh my god. I'm an adult. My, my dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining place, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make a little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I'm inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Thank you, Eleanor. Oh, I thought that was on the T. It's not on the T. God, this must take a ton of work. The water looks like a night sky. Little ripples in it. I'm an adult. We're all children at heart. Oh no, I mean I'm an adult in the, in the most positive way possible. I don't I don't want to I don't want to be an adult. I am perfectly. Let me in. That's the achievement. Uh, I don't I I I like I like leaning into my inner child. It's fun. 
Okay, we have a bunch of stuff up there, but I'm gonna go check out what's over here first. So, I promptly ignored this place earlier because it seemed a little bit too intimidating. But here we are. This stream just has all kinds of stuff. How do we follow up Dragon's Crown with this? Can I crouch and get under there? Seems like an odd spot. This seems like it's just here to block me off. Or if there's a monster that's chasing me in a few hours. And I need to crouch under that to get away. Locked from the other side, oh my god. Botany Manor truly is a, the, 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 the souls, souls, dark souls of also botany games. <laughs> Gotta get to the other side for my shortcut. Okay. Cactus. Needs more ass? I mean, it is, some of these trees are pretty thickums. No? I mean, look at that tree. Got a nice shape to it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's move along. Uh, nothing, nothing. Okay. We put an image of boobs in the corner to make the transition a bit more natural. Yeah, we got to work our way up to it. We have to wean ourselves off. <gasps> duck. Quack quack. Inspect a duck. God, I am I am a gamer. We're just the achievements are flowing into us. They can't stop. Survivors of adversity. Excuse me, there's a whole ass tree growing in my uh my foyer. A whole ass tree. Are you, are you sexualizing the trees? If I am, I can't help it that the tree has nice features. Let's see, um, hi. The Hopgood household. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. Never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return, your loving sister, Elizabeth. We know a lot of people. We know a lot of people. Ooh. Is that nothing? That's nothing. What if that was a hint, though? Not really much going on here. Hi. Nothing. Okay. I hope I wasn't supposed to bring that flower that I left back there someplace, but I, I guess we have this now. So... Alright. Guess we're good. I need a new seed packet. How am I, su how am I supposed to plant my seed without any seeds? Great Western Railway. Taunton to London Paddington. Issued for return journey, first class. Elderly discount applied. 9th July 1890. Okay. Yes. Mushroom. Beetle. Fish. Shells. You just you just you just like everything, don't you? I guess we should uh, examine the elephant in the room. Hi. How are you? Why are you growing on my floor? Ooh. Ah, the family tree. I've done this puzzle before. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be good at it, but, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to probably link those two things together to figure out which person this is. Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Genealogist Robert Hinchley. So they're using their maiden names in particular. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Now watch and be amazed as I struggle with this puzzle. Uh, so that was chapter one. Oh, we got a lot of clues. 
Seed packet location, grand staircase. Okay, it's nice that it tells me. Ooh, Dartmoor. All the year round. Home to breathtaking sights. Hound tour. Wisman's Wood. Becky Falls. Well, that's unfortunate for Becky. I wish she wouldn't. Travel by train. Is that a... Is that, a, is that, is that just like a water pitcher that, you, that you're hanging on the uh, peg there? Oh, no kitchen. Okay. I need to find a grand staircase. Pyrophiles? Fire has the potential to be one among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain as, uh, species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on a fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Fact about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitats. Important. Important. Painting room. Back terrace. Mm-hmm. So we're good there. Good there. This is California. I remember when um, I first had to, in, in Don't Starve, like a very, very important ingredient is charcoal. And one of the main, or like, main ways or only way you can get it, I can't quite remember, is you have to just start, like, controlled burns. And I missed out on that for so long because um, I didn't want to burn down the trees. Don't Starve is really fun. I love Don't Starve. That was also one of the earliest vi games I ever recorded on the channel. I'd, I I recorded me playing Don't Starve with a Tony Tony Chopper mod. Because you could have Chopper added into Don't Starve. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. One of my most viewed videos, too. Came across the full gar uh, Guria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay. Ash plume. So yeah, there's two different things. Yep. Okay. What's the deal with you? Arabella's parents. Good, good. Means lightning. I think I've... Yeah, I've heard like Fulgur specifically... You know, being associated with lightning. Also, like, Fulminus, I suppose, too. I think that was... Oh! Oh, yeah! We got our phosphor... Oh, God. No! I did chemistry in Escape Simulator! Don't make me! I'm a vampire, by the way. The art of painting in oil and fresco! Oh, that's so cool! Um, when I was when I was in school, there was a person in one of my uh, one of my uh, like art history classes that specifically his um, his like project and uh, like his final project, like his capstone thing, was he did an entire piece in fresco, which is like very much kind of a dying form of doing painting. So that was super super cool to see somebody do a fresco, like a modern day one. It was it was very neat. It was very pretty. Okay, so we have all of this. I can pour things. Yeah. There's a Fulgur Bloom or something in Elden Ring. Oh, is that the one that lightning strikes by? That would make sense. That's awesome with the fresco. It was! I was so enamored by that. That was one of the things I liked uh, the most about double majoring in history was I got to, like, interact with so many other majors and stuff like I had to take an intro to fiction writing class and holy shit was I awful but uh you know uh it was fun to to, to see people that could write some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual this meant that when someone was considered old enough it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe one of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods though not just any flower of course the gatherer had to find a Fulguria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. 
keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay. So let's start assigning some of our clues here. Um, so, folklore book. Hierophiles, so folklore book, dining room. I'm, th I'm thinking that's talking about this. This looks like a dining room. Yes. So that is for you. And feeling like this one might be what the other note is for, but we'll get there. We'll find that answer. Whew. I'm going to have to get a pretty good amount of recording done uh, after I stream today because uh, we're going to a vintage thing tomorrow, I believe, if we get up and around to it. There's a big like vintage festival and stuff going on. So that's gonna that's gonna be fun. Hello. There's Arabella and Elizabeth. Cool. Ah yes, we have to play Moonlight Sonata. That's not Moonlight Sonata. Ooh, there we go. Key to the back terrace. Beautiful. I don't he has a big tail. Hey, Arabella. These past weeks, I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely, as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Sorry, Charles. Watson's Flash Powder. Made in Bath by Pilkin and Sons. Ah, the town of Bath. Highly combustible. Bottle contains 75 grams of flash powder. Chemical composition, potassium and magnesium, 2 to 1 ratio. Okay. It's empty. Ooh. And we have a, uh, camera. Take picture? What is this? Just, uh, okay. And I can have this up or down. Developing? Beautiful. Okay. Okay, this will take more research. God, we had, do we have enough sitting areas in this house? Also, I've never just seen somebody who straight up have a book open on a shelf like that. That's interesting a particularly interesting passage or something. Okay. Hi. Your new Lumen Photographic Flash Lamp. Instructions. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the Lumen Flash Lamp. Witness a bright flash. Better results guaranteed. So, fill it. Close. Okay. So, that's why we need you. But it's, it's empty, right? Yeah, it's empty. We need more flash powder. Which is why we need potassium, magnesium, two to one ratio. So two potassium, one magnesium from here. So potass, potass, and magnas. There we go. Um, chemical disposal. I mean, do I have to like you know, mix it or anything or? Anything else with it? Let's let's see. Can I just shove you in here now? I sure can. Bonk. Ha ha ha. Okay, so yeah, probably what this is for is for yes. That's why there's a plant thing right there. Okay, so we need something will only grow when there's a flash, which I think is the lightning thingy so we have that solved Ooh, well lit photograph camera experiment 2 I'm very pleased with this picture it looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera yeah so we have to trick the thing into thinking this picture is so dark impossible to see the flowers I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder I purchased the new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers the picture looks a little blurry I'll have to investigate the camera settings cool A 
whole lot of pictures in this house. Where do you even get this many pictures? Library, I don't know a combination, so that's not happening. Mushroom, mushroom. Can't get in here because it's blocked by the tree. But I do have the key to the terrace. So that was the kitchen. This was the terrace? Yeah. There you are. Let me in. Ooh, pretty. Hello. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff back here. Walk from the other side. Um, and then, so I, I just want to see a little bit more about some of these other things. So, I haven't added anything to the ash bloom. I came across this that said, yeah, that happens. But I don't have any more... Ah, letter from farmer, flash powder bottle, flashlight manual, photographs. Let's see. Let's look at these. Those don't quite look the same, but I feel like this has to go with here, with this here. So... Letter from farmer, talk about the flashes. Flash powder bottle. Flash lamp manual. Photographs? Yes. Okay, so that's all of the stuff for you. Um, so now we just have to plant the seed, water it, and then go make that happen. Look at me! I'm solving things! Oh, yay! I am not a, the, the, the stupid. Sometimes. Here we go. Come with me. Alright, we are going to have to make more of the flash powder, but yeah, now we just set it here. Bring you back here. Give me patas, patas, and mag magas. And now we flash. Good, good. Alright, and boom. Hey! I can do things. Grow the Fulguria. Oh, it's very pretty. Look at it. The Fulguria only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Well, I have... Boom. Alright. Woo woo indeed. Alright, so this next one... Let's see, so I feel like the Pyrophiles thing is related to you, because you're called Ash Plume. Let's uh, get outside to look at that, I suppose, possibly in more detail. Yeah, seeds typically possess tough shells, and it says this might be a tough case to crack. I'm going to go ahead and assign that there. Because I feel like it has to do with that. Also, it's the only other thing that it could be associated with right now. Oh, I see that, and I keep thinking it's something important in the like, little tree thing. But Okay, so I need to find the other seed. We can just naturally explore and come across it. Hello? Book. Flowering plants of Great Britain and Pratt. Cool. Nothing useful to me, though. I will sit. There we go. We had a little sit. Botany's, uh, Botany's thirsty work. Hey, Narek. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Mm hmm. Hello? There's my seeds. Okay. Uh, var it is. Seed log. A summary of seeds I've gathered this year in the location I found them at. Cow parsley. Blackdown hills. Poppy. Cheddar gorge. Buttercups. Stert? Marshes? Stert? Stert. Ash plume. Wistman's wood. That's important. Wood anemone. Holford comb. Wild thyme. 
Colburnwood and Foxglove at Ford Abbey. Okay, so this definitely gets associated with you. And you were from Wistman's Wood. Okay. Formal garden. God, how many do you need? Please, save some gardens for the rest of us. Our dear friend Arabella. A friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They had the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Yeah, don't do that. Don't just, don't just do that. <laughs> they are incredibly invasive, and this is actually a real thing that happened, which I learned because of uh, playing Small Saga. <laughs> but yes, please don't just get exotic animals and be like, Oh, I want them for my garden. They'll really spice up the place. Hello. Kitchen notes. Hazel Patterson, kitchen notes. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. How do you break a mortar? That feels hard. Lady Arabella may not uh, be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She is so scatterbrained. Always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list, flour, milk, eggs, leek, carrots, potatoes. Okay. You can't stop me from getting a pet giraffe. I feel like you would get, like, a cool frog, Raxby. Giraffe is a- giraffe's a- giraffe's a choice. I don't even- like, how, how would you even care for a giraffe? Kitchen. Awesome. And then we have this. So, work another mortar, grind spices... Okay. That's not opening. Why do- what is with this person locking all of the doors in their own house? You know, shouldn't you just lock the entrances? Why do you have to lock the doors... You know, to... Oh my god! Why is this... Why is this area so beautiful? Ugh! It's sickening that someone, even in fantasy, gets to live here. Oh my god. Jeez. I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I also hate it. Let me live here. Hello. Ooh. Nice kitchen. Nice, nice kitchen. I want to name an exotic animal, and giraffe was the first thing that came to mind. First thing that always comes to mind for me is... Red pandas? Although, having a pet owl would be cool, even though that is definitely not okay and not something that I would ever do. But I fucking love owls, so... Owls are so cute. We saw- we saw one at the bird show. Oh, I forgot to mention! When we went to the Renaissance Festival, they had a bird show? Their falcon just left! They had it out on display and they were showing the, you know, the like, power of a- and speed of a falcon diving. And Falcon was just like, alright, I'm gone. Bye. And, uh, the dude was like, oh yeah, this happens sometimes. They have a little tracker on their foot. Uh, we can find them again. But yeah, sometimes they just decide they don't want to be here anymore. So it just, it just left. It's like, okay, I'm gone. We could see it flying overhead like super high and then it just went over the trees and was bye-bye. He tried calling to it and everything. Oh, not a scale puzzle. Mysterious symbol. A goat with a flag embedded in its neck. Okay, no, it's not embedded in its neck, but it looked like it was at first. Okay, what am I trying to find the weight of? But yeah, so that was, uh, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, there's the finished flag. I would not know. I am uncultured and stupid. You, you could, you could not tell me to name very many flags. At all. 
I can't even I can't even tell you where like most of the states in the middle of the US are because the the middle US to me is basically non existent. I know everything along the coast and then the middle is just like uh the Dakotas are in there and uh Wyoming is somewhere. Oklahoma Wisconsin Religious blessing. Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter enter find comfort and respite. Blessed is the hearth, with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Is that a hint? No. No. I struggle to name all. There, are, there are frequently ones that I forget that, that that's even a state, or when like a very big town in or like city in a state is more well known than the state in my eyes. So I'm like, oh wait, is that like a state or is that a city? I, you know, Hazel's priceless recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Yay! Let's let's mix up some uh, aphrodisiac. Roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts. They are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of a fire. Simply place the nuts in the fan, uh, a fan, a pan above the fire, and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Okay. Um, how does that help me? Does it help me? It does. It does. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well there's the fire I'm supposed to do. Kindling? Dear lady! We received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences, along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Fuck Fuck. Oh, there's the broken pestle mortar. Hey. Society of Historians, Southwest Group. Monthly lecture open to all society members. The history of Dartmoor. Given by our resident natural history professor. The resident will present how the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods. How early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture, using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we knew, know and love today came into existence. Is that a clue? It is a clue. Okay. Neat. And yeah, that's the broken thingy. You're that. Okay, I need to know what I'm supposed to put in the scale. What's through here? Ooh, hi. To someone special. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Hmm, okay. Thank you for the roses. That's not a clue, I don't think, right? Yeah. Just some flavor text. The ancient oaks stand, ta stand tall in Wistman's Wood. That's like the third time I've seen Wistman's Wood now. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's Wood. Okay. That a clue. It indeed is. Duck. It's a porcelain duck. Okay. 
Ah, the smokery. Cherry logs, birch lo logs, maple logs. Okay, oak logs is what we need. The oaks. Okay, so I'm piecing this together. What, where, how all of this is going to come together. Chapter four, home smoking and curing. Using the home smokery. The type of wood you to use in your smokery is of great importance. Though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of trees produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your logs, uh, wood logs with care. Well, I already know I need oak. Um, there's some smoked food. Okay. So, we need oak logs. In particular. I will inspect the oak log. It is an oak log. Okay, so... I will put that in there, and we would bring the thingy. Yeah. Okay, but I need, uh, I need my stuff. Yeah. So, let's go get a pot for the seed and everything. Have I gotten everything? There's the smoking book. I'm still missing one clue. I don't know where that clue would be. Hmm. So obviously I want them, but... Yeah, there's no telling where I missed it on the journey over here. But I think I have an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Whatever it is, I don't believe it's here. So... There's the kindling. I need to put something in there. Just pestle and mortar. Dartmoor, roasting chestnuts. Yeah, so. And then that, it says pay attention to the year. Yeah, and then we have all of this. What am I supposed to be doing with you, friend? That is what I'm curious about right now. Not found screens passage. Screens passage? They don't call West Virginia wild and wonderful for nothing? True. Screens passage. What in the nine hells is the screens passage? Don't even know. I mean, none of this looks like a passage. Painting room. Do I have like a map or anything? Of, like, what the various rooms are called? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. It's just the art of painting. This is the dining room. I mean... Where have we seen a screen? Oh, spectacles. Oh, wait, did I never read this? No, 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 I, okay, no, I did. That's the lumen thing. And then the spectacles exist. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the screen's passage is. But I do know that uh, I can plant a seed here. We can go ahead and put the ash plume in there. Green's Passage, huh? Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe we'll find it at some point. What was that up there? I mean, it's blocked by the tree, so I can't do anything with it right now. I don't even know what the deal with this is. I can put a thing there. Maybe it's for a seat I don't have yet. And yeah, I still don't know what any of this is doing. Maybe this is stuff after I finish this? I 
feel like this would do something to the pot. Oh no, germinate the ash plume seed. So there we go. It is germinated. So now is when I set you and go get the oak log. Yes, yes, yes. Close the door. Really got to get those fumes. There we are. I did it. Alright. Case might be a tough nut to crack. Grow the phoenix of the forest. The ash plume is a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Seeds crack open with extreme heat and afterwards the oak smoke from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. And I missed a clue. Where are you? Hmm. You're going to annoy me. Maybe I'll find it and we can still assign it. Oh, my gatehouse! Oh, there's a gatehouse delivery, huh? Well, hello. Yeah, I still don't know where the screen's room is. What was that? Flying through the air. Happy music. God, where even was the gatehouse? This away? Somewhere? I mean, not over here, obviously. God, this place is huge. This is the seed log. Formal garden. Dear friend. And this was a lot of nothing. I can't go in there right now. Yeah, damn, where was this place? I don't quite remember where it was. It's the place with the bell. I remember ringing it, but... Was it outside in the front? It might have been. Yeah, I think it might be out here. Possibly. That's the orchard. I thought there was like a little hut or something back here. To go into. I don't think there's anything over there. There it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way back over here. That was right. So... Please leave all deliveries at the gatehouse and ring the bell. There's my key. To the orchard. We are pleased to deliver a new key for your orchard gate. We hope you're enjoying the gate. Don't hesitate to visit us again if you need further metalwork or decoration. John Babbage. Thank you, John. Appreciate you. Okay, and then the orchard was just right over here. So this will be chapter three, I suppose. Still don't know where that one, that one clue was. Hopefully I can find it at some point. I mean, we never found all the clues for the previous thing either. Two new plants added, huh? Pixie Tears, Oxalis Phasma, and Wolf Glove, Campanula Melodia. Okay. Very pretty orchard. Okay. Dear niece, I've gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational, though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, auntie. There's a rhyme. The wolf glove. High on the mountaintop, so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit, cheeks aglow. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl, clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Hey. 
So it, yeah, uh, up high, and it makes a particular noise. So that is obviously a wolf glove um, thing. So simple enough. <sighs> Ever wonder if domestic cats are aliens? Um, some of my cats are smart enough for me to think yeah, but one of them is very, very dumb, so. Not a very successful alien. Of course, I guess aliens don't technically have to be of uh, high intelligence. Hello? There were our pots back there, but I don't have a seed yet. The Heritage Orchard and Preservation of Endangered Apple Varieties. Ah, and then we have various types of apples. Okay, cider making and apple blending. Sugar, tannins, and acid values given per single apple. Knobby russet, dabnet, fox whelp, brown snout, pit ma mast and pine, cat's head, Kingston black, green ups, pippin, lord peck over, Seymour's delight, bitter green streak, and Merlin's mist. Apple names are always funny. They have so many kinds. There was an apple orchard we went to, and they straight up had one of their special blends called the Ludacrisp. Yeah, and then here's all the different apples. Oh, Merlin's Mist looks so cool! Look at Merlin's Mist! Oh, that looks cool. Okay. What can't this woman do? I know, right? So many hobbies. There's a light just- I was about to say, Gondola! I, I almost mentioned Final Fantasy X Seymour. Almost. Mush. There we go. I did it. Okay, we gotta find out what particular type of apple, whatever this plant I'm currently trying to grow likes. And uh, mush it, and it will be good. Uh, your favorite's Pink Lady, I forget. I forget what type of uh, apple Morgan likes, and my dad, I think, likes Fuji. Um, I know Pink Lady is a popular one because I think it's very sweet. God, look at how many seeds there are. There are a lot of seeds. Okay, you. How are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure there's fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles. We already grew the ash plume, so was that the final clue for that? Oh my god, it was. I think. Never mind. Never mind. It was not. That was chapter two stuff. Okay, so... Closely associated with orchards, I wonder why. Long tubular petals, how interesting. Okay, so the apple blending and cider apples definitely go there. Like, what form of Seymour is this? Didn't we get enough after Flux? I'm also a Gala Golden Delicious fan. And not just because I call I call them galas. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with different pots. Okay, so we need for a pot like that 70, 73 grams, I'm guessing. Pot notes probably gonna go there. Because we need to give an additive to the pixie tier, which is the apple that it likes. Okay. And there's potting soil and stuff. Okay. Neat. What do we got here? Microscope slide? That's been Red Campion. Interesting. Foxglove. Okay. Tincture of iodine. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. 
Okay, and then we got Spring Dance, Hyacinth, Primrose, Pixie Tears, Bluebell. Okay. And can't do much with that right now. Chloroplasts. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, small organelles inside the cells of a plant, these are also one of the only things I remember about learning all about this stuff, are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it to sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these, partic uh, these particular plants. That is associated with you. And then, I don't particularly know what this is for. I mean, I could associate it... I mean, we do have a microscope slide of you, but I don't really know that I need that to solve this. And I think I can only assign each note once. Orchard mosaic. Okay. An illustrated history of England for scholars, advanced classes, and a discerning reader. Priest holes. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about that location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Interesting. The Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house, although I am convinced it exists and we will find it. it won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms. Professor Pennyworth. Okay. So yeah, we still have the microscope slides. Let's see if I put that in. Okay, it finishes it. Yeah. Okay. And then for the foxglove, can I still assign the microscope slides? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it won't let me continue adding them. Okay. Because they was also listed there. I'm assuming it only fills in and locks it if you get them all correct, so... Well, I know what I need to do... for this now. So, let's, uh... Go over here, and I need to add whatever apple it is that you like to this. I mean, should I plant it and water it first, probably, before we put the other thing in? Let's do it. Uh, so plant. Boom. Here we go. So now you need your extra nutrients. So let's see what kind it is that you would like. Okay, so apple blending. Ah, okay. That's where this comes in. Okay, that's where this comes into play. So we need to get the correct amount here. 97, I believe, is the correct one that we need for our pot. I don't think I can just, like, actually look at those in here. Maybe? Blending? Like, it shows me them there, but I don't think I can see them from that book. I do think I have to go to the physical location to interact with them. So, 97 is what we need. So... Well, if 97 is what we need, Merlin's Mist has to be one of them. So do we have one that's 50? No. Do we have one... I mean, I'm pretty sure I need Merlin's Mist. Is there a Merlin's Mist? Don't actually see one. Around here. Oh, there, there's one. Let's put you back down there. Okay, Merlin's Mist. Pretty sure I need that one, because it's one of the only ones that ends in a 7. So... Now we just need to make up... A bunch more. So... 
God, I hate math. Oh, wait, and then it has high, low tannins and stuff. Uh oh. That might factor into. Let's see, where was some more information? No, that's the wolf glove thing. That's you. You know, in your garden. And this, yeah, 97. Sometimes I found it's following amounts. Okay. And then. Here was it? Okay. Uh, no. Never mind. This is not it. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to just add up to 97 and see how that works. So. We currently have 27. Let's see here. 27 plus 40. And then, so I could do Nobby Russet and Cat's Head. So, Nobby Russet and then Cat's Head. That would be... I swear there was a Nobby Russet around here somewhere. Am I crazy? I thought there was one. There it is. You. And then we do a cat's head. And we smush and hopes this hope this works. It worked! I am a genius. Yeah. Butterflies! Hello friends. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so that one's done. Pixie Tears was not too bad at all. The Pixie Tears no longer contain chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for further synthesis. Instead, the Pixie Tears obtain sugar through their roots, which is commonly found which it commonly finds in the apples from orchards. Thank you, thank you. Yay, indeed. I'm glad I got the chance to play this because, uh, yeah, it came out and I had it. I had it on my uh, on my radar, but currently we're playing through some pretty long games on the channel. So now we can start working our way over here and see about this stuff. Priest hole. I'm wondering if where the priest hole is even gonna factor in here if it does I have received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower alas I must confess that I am not the man to undertake the task you may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the turbulent tower it is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. I've only seen one person LP it, but I haven't watched. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the type of game that like a ton of people are going to hop onto, but this is so specifically up my alley, even if I'm not particularly good at these types of things, that uh, I have to. There was that game where you got to like make your own garden that I was really interested in as well, but the time just wasn't right for that. Garden simulator or something? Hello. The anometer. Okay, you're broken. Move up. Okay. Ah. Okay. We probably need, like, a certain, yeah, type of wind. One. So, yeah, then we can move back down. Okay. I see, I see. So that's where we're going to put our pot. For sure. Now I just need to find the seeds for this area. Tower wind research. Test one of six. Wind speed of 35 on the third floor. 50 on second floor. 45 on fourth. 20 on first. 40 on fourth. 
25 on 5th. Somehow, my... Animo... An, an anima meter? Anima meter, I guess, is just... Eh, I don't know, that's a hard word for me for some reason. Um, uh, some reason it broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. So this is gonna be important. Now there's guide to Alpine Exploration. We share the way to correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. I've always wanted to uh, go to Europe, and so does Morgan. We should totally go over there someday. I also know a fair few people um, there because of so many online friends, so it would be cool to just kind of hop and skip and jump around to various people. Uh, thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots. And the Alps by location. So yeah, this is going to be important. That's the dream, ain't it? It'll, it, I mean, we probably will be able to someday. It'll be very, very neat. Because I got friends in Germany, Croatia, Prague. All kinds of stuff. Hello. Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. From Nettie Golding. We made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand that you are busy creating your herbarium. Your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. Only you'd been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Natty. Hi. That is for the painting room. As you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I've already written to the builder in the hope he will he he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is going to be in the way of research. I don't suppose you could find another way to the bottom level. Ah. And that is how we open you. Cool. See how the staircase broke? Just jump. Just do a sick jump. God, this room is... This, this whole place is just very, very beautiful. Uh, letter from Builder. Wind Research. Alpine. Envelope. Letter about Alps. So we're missing one thing. Uh... So, chapter 3 clue is not found in the Orangery, which is down here. So I need to find another way to get to this bottom floor. It looks like there's a secret passage down here? What is this? How do I even... How would I even go about potentially getting to that? I mean, we do have the key to this painting room, so maybe that's where we should go. There we are. Still pissing me off, I can't find this one thing. The, the, the shades room. What is the, the, the pa or passage, sorry. Shades passage. Where the hell is that? I really thought it was going to be somewhere over there. I mean, I feel like it would just say stairs if it was this. And then that's the library. And then there's a whopping nothing here. Hmm. Annoying! You should be able to beat this one in one stream. Yeah, that's 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 like the whole reason I picked it. Basically, all the games I I picked, I checked to make sure they were a one stream thing, and pretty much everything that I picked is like ballpark like two and a half to four hours. Some games are shorter than that, but we'd we'll have multiple in that case. Okay, this helps. Um. You don't tell me where the d d the passage is. <laughs> Damn you. Where is the screen's passage? Drawing room. Yeah, you don't you don't tell me that. Where is the 
What is the screen's passage? What is that? What, what, what in the nine hells? Oh wait, the pyrophiles was also found in the screen's passage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this. Is it this? Did I never look at this? Did I never like actually click on it? Oh my god, that was the final one. I stared at it, but I didn't actually click on it, so it didn't count as a... Okay. There. Are you happy? Thank you. I could also go back and get this one in chapter one. Um, if I really wanted to proper finish this place off. Uh, it is in the conservatory. Let's run back there and get it just because it's going to bother me if I don't. But yeah, looking at my, um, list here. I have one more game that'll probably take an entire stream to finish just that one. And then I have one stream where we might play two games because both of them are fairly short. Uh, and then of course there's the demo day, and then I've got to come up with something to play on, uh, the extra day that I'm doing, I guess. But, there's plenty of options. Like I said, I might just be like, fuck it, and play Tetris Effect. Because <laughs> I've been really, really wanting to play Tetris Effect, because I have some of that music on my playlist, and it's quite good. Okay, um, did I check that? And that. And then there's something else in here. That might have been the one. Yep, it was the temperature chart. Okay. So, once again, another one of the things I just didn't act actually click on. Tetris Effect or Riot. The only thing I was worried about uh, with Tetris Effect is it has a lot of particles and effects. Um, and I was wondering if it would get, like, totally butchered on stream. But, uh, I looked up a video of somebody playing it to see if it would be, like, terrible. It really wasn't. It was fine, honestly. I also, um have played a lot of Tetris Effect. Not to say I'm good at Tetris or anything, but uh, I beat all the levels in Tetris Effect, so I'm, a, I'm at least okay, and some of those levels are very hard. My dearest Arabella, in Gardens Fair, you grace the scene, a flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands like petals, soft and fine, and tender touch a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. What if I don't want to be a trophy wife? How about that? How about I want to sit over here and study my herbs and shit? Huh? You ever think of that? Meadow Orchards Research Team, 1862. Professor John Montague and Montague, Robert Brown, Arabella Green. Your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project. Ah, oh, it's the assholes again. Perhaps if you are set on a botanical field work, you might assist uh, Professor Montague in his work at British Meadow Orchids. I am sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Fuck off. John Lindley's book, Ladies Botany, or A Familiar Introduction to the Study of the Natural System of Botany. It's an elementary book for unscientific readers, and one I have heard is suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself, being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. How, how about... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's the time period. We're going to deal with this. It's still annoying, though. Flower painting in watercolor. Touch the Spectre Riot. Just gotta be, like, good old Fire Blue, the OG compression killer. I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that'd be lovely. In your service, Miss Patterson. A study wherein the discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folkloric symbols throughout the art of the world. Religious symbols. The Triskelion. I know about that one. Taijutsu, or er, uh, Taijitu. Uh, I am very much familiar with the Tao with the Taoism stuff. Star and Crescent, Islam, Wheel of Dharma, Buddhism, Star David, Star David, Agnes Day. That's Catholicism. Okay, Ankar, Sikh, Om Hindu. 
I've never seen this before in my life. So basically what that tells me is the scales in there, something to do with Catholicism. That's all I'm getting out of it. Pinnacle painting, huh? Okay. So... Is this all I'm getting from in here? I suppose so. That doesn't help me get to the orangery. I can clearly see that there's a secret passage door down there, but I don't know how to get to that. So... That puts a bit of a damper on things. Okay, what was... Did I get my final clue? No, because, yeah, it's... Wait, wait, wait. We already got some of those in there in the orangery. So wait, maybe it's on the second floor. Up here. Is there a clue up here I haven't gotten? Collapsed. Who? From Somerset, Natty. I read you. So there's another hint here. But where? Is there something on the staircase? No. I mean, there's a book down there, but like it like I said, I can't I can't get I can't get in here. Hmm. And I might need that to help solve this. I can't get to it from like down here some way, can I? Yeah, I can't get into it from there. That's not gonna work, but I mean maybe let's go. That was um the one area. Oh god, I didn't take my antihistamine earlier. I think it's making me itchy. I still don't know what causes this, but I have to take an antihistamine or I just get like very, very itchy. It's probably some sort of allergen or allergy I don't know I have. But I have no idea what I ca what causes it, and if I forget to take that, it sucks. So maybe that's what this is about. So Catholicism. Yes, Catholic. I know that. Now... Uh, to those who serve the Lord, who, sink their, who seek their sanctuary... Oh, my headset's dying. I have to plug that up. Oof. To those who seek the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction. For this, friends, is the key. Now, letter from Builder. Uh, okay, the year of construction is the key. These straight up tell you how much, and this is probably going to open like a secret passage or some shit through there, because I think this is the room that connects there. Yeah. I think that is what we need to do, but I gotta go over there and read a thing because I have to remember the year of construction. So let's go over here. Now where? Not any of these. Alpine exploration, none of that's needed. Year of construction, where was that builder's note? Here? When was this constructed? That is the information I currently need. Hmm. Cause like I said, I'm I'm feeling that that opens up like a secret passage or something. Manager fifteen ninety three. There it is. Nailed it. Okay, so one, five, nine, three. Hee hee hee! Ho ho ho! I am smart! Yeah! I did it. History sleuth, find the secret priest hideout. This is a super cool idea that they had to have hidey holes for priests specifically here because of uh, the whole uh, church thing that happens. Hi. Got the ducks. It's very, very neat. 
Especially since we have such a like big giant idea of the absolute mammoth that cath that Catholicism was during this period, and then Henry doing Henry things and basically making his own thing because he wanted a divorce, and all of the other various schisms and the Protestant Revolution and all of these things. I, I don't know. Sorry, I'll, I I have to stop myself or I'll just go on. I'm gonna need the my Lord Green Grain. Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls, and for such favor I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment of this sanctuary doth inspire awe. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. A welcome, a welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. With the most earnest of thanks, I entreat that this missive shall not mark our final communion, and that our faith may endure unbroken. Yours of devotion, R. Blount. Neat. Yep, and here's your little hidey hole. Your very basic bed, and various other amenities. But this is where I want to go. Hee hee hee! And there's my seats. There's my wolf glove. So I had to come in here anyway. Because this is where we get the seed. Open. Ooh. Souvenir coin. Okay. Matterhorn. Hmm. What's the deal with you? Switzerland? Lady Mountaineer Club. First outing, 1858. All correspondence to the above address. The Society for Botanical Science meets every second and fourth Wednesday from... Six o'clock at the assembly rooms in Stroud. Prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the society, along with evidence or research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Annual book sale. Yeah, we're getting bits and pieces of uh, what this character has went through with uh, her pursuit in, into botany. So, that's interesting along with the other stuff. Here we go, repair the stairs. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor John Montague, his wife Anne Montague, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid. Though upon arrival, I noticed it had much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. When I pointed this out, Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Great. What is the point of all the honorary coins? Don't know. Um, add clue. So, the coin collection is apparently one of the hints I need to solve the wolf glove. Really? We're gonna have to read into this one a little more. Long tubular petals. Okay, nursery rhyme. So we know it'll only grow at certain things. Let's see. Okay, and we this is this is the reason for the coins. I'm imagining Climbing winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It's advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots. So, yeah, that's how we find out the wind speed that we need. If we can compare those. Okay, so... There you are. Wolf glove. Okay, so that grows. What else do we need here? I'm going to find what wind speed I need by checking that thing, and then I have to compare it to the various notes that they have over there. Okay, nursery rhyme in the orchard, letter from the builder, wind research, alpine weather. In the orangery? Let's see. Over here, I think this was. That's the notes. You. Sad you can join us, you understand. You're still lost on a hike. It's the whistling tune. That's not super helpful to me. Yeah, I just need to know. Oh, wait, 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 w
That is super helpful to me because it tells me where you were. Right to the Alps, you're so sad you couldn't join. You understand? You're lost in the hikes. I'm living here to a strange whistling tune. Let's discover it. You're loving as always. Wait, where's it sent from? From Natty Golding. No! I need information. Oh! Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Star and uh, Ram. So I find which coin is Star Ram. Star Ram? No. No. Oh. Nope. Not that one. Not that one. Okay. What about you? Uh uh. Aha! Uh. Weissorn, Switzerland. So that's what we need. Up here. Uh. Okay, so 40 wind speed is what we need. So. Yeah, no, those stairs would terrify the absolute hell out of me. Okay, so. Wind speed of 40 on the fourth floor. And I'm guessing we actually have to open the windows this way. So, like, the bottom floor needs, like, one open. So, I need my pot. The bottom floor needs one open, and then you s one's closed, and then the next two are completely open. Come here, Wolf Glove. Don't you worry. We're going to get you looked after, huh? There you are. So, move up. Okay. You need to be closed. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to move down. I didn't mean to move down. Up. <laughs> My pot. I never assumed you were the type. Definitely do not like smoking. I hate the smell of smoke and it messes with my nose. I mayhaps have done an edible before. But I hate any kind of smoke smell. Um, honestly, anything that's like super, super strong on the nose messes with me. Incense makes me like incredibly, incredibly sick. Like, um, and perfumes and things like that. Like, it immediately makes me start sneezing and makes it feel like I've been sick for like two days if I get near like perfumes, um, incenses. There was like a shop. Uh, at the Renaissance Festival we went to that had like various incenses and scented things could not go in there like my nose feels like it has needles in it and I just start sneezing like crazy so you're very pretty wolf glove and my gatehouse delivery is here Okay, that one was pretty involved, but uh, not too terrible. The apple one was, was way, way, way easier. So. Do I even need to go this way? I mean, I guess I can go this way. I'm already over here. I'm going to get rid of this whole ass tree in my house. I do like this kind of exploration of effectively the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil, except there's there's no monsters that want to kill me. It's just wholesome flower planting and solving weird archaic puzzles. Dear sister, I'm glad to hear you have returned safely from your travels. While you were away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited, as I know some of grandmother's valuable items are kept in a secret vault. The new code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all of your, all about your adventures. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. The three initials of your name. 
That's kind of a pain. Okay. Three initials of your name, huh? I mean, I can look at the family tree. Yeah, 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 yet. I mean, at any point, a tyrant is going to come bursting through one of these hedges. It's going to happen. Okay, family tree, which was... Over here? No, this is not the family tree. Room. Where was the family tree? Family tree. Okay, so... Elizabeth Ann Green, so EAG. Look at us go. Uh, E A G. Wait, what? No? Oh, uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. They noted that you kept your maiden name, not the name you have now. So it would be Hopgood, so E A H, not G. They noted that earlier, that we specifically got a version of it, they kept the maiden names. So H. There we are. Ease. Smart? Sometimes. Not often, but uh, I have my moments. Thank you, card. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower books you sent my daughters. To this day, they will show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. Keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting it upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication to knowledge seems so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. Hope you will consider my proposal. Oh, that's so sweet. I mean, it's a lot to take on, but very sweet. Beetle. Fish. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I watched Leafy stream today. Leafy was, uh, having a time with the fishing game of choice today. Modern methods of teaching. So you did, st you did take them up on their offer to teach the kids. So that was, uh, fun to watch. Botanical Allies, Chapter 4. Four new plants added, oh my god. Okay, Chapter 4 is the thickums, jeez. Ah, yes, archaic bullshit. Good. So ostentatious. Alright. Um. Hello. The fox and the crow. One evening, a fox was in search for something to eat for dinner. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch, holding a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed on the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds with a big strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak that beak must make! It must be the beautiful. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all about her suspicion and also her dinner. So she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest call, and down fell the cheese straight into the fox's mouth. Wrecked. L. Okay, so this is clearly some sort of combination that potentially opens a passage or gives me something. Okay, my new flowers, though. Nightfall? Sapphire Gloom only needs two. Those are some mushrooms. Okay, so that one's going to be easy to do. Grandma's Vault is where that one is. Hello? There's some stuff down there. Do you pay attention to them in leafy streams? Uh, I actually... I, I mostly just look at look at Twitch all the time to see when Leafy's streaming, but as far as time goes, Leafy usually streams like pretty much like right before I do. So as far as timeline goes, that um like he usually wraps up stream like close to when I'm finishing. That's why he raids occasionally. But I think normally it's like I I don't I don't know. Leafy would be able to answer better, but I feel like he usually starts like four or six, somewhere around there. Maybe five's closer. Wonders of the night sky. As far as days go, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he said he was streaming Sunday, so. I do know that much. And I'm usually in the chat acting a fool.
The golden fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman called a shining golden fish. The fish cried. Please let me live. Not a fish, but a prince, enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in return for its freedom. A cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore and the fish granted their wish. But the wife was greedy and demanded riches, a palace, and servants. All the while the ocean became darker and the shore was black with dirt. Finally the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. In return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all the wishes it had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore clean, and the fisherman never saw the golden fish ever again. L. I never got those nuggies and I'm still sad. I had some nuggies earlier. They are quite good. My appetite's still been dumpstered. Ever since I was sick. And I have to get my medication filled for my acid reflux because I kept forgetting because everything was happening this week so I didn't get that filled. Which also doesn't make me want to eat. Or makes me not want to eat. Your company is respectfully solicited at a New Year's Ball to be given at Somerset Hall. Thursday, 4th January, 1860. Supper is at 6 o'clock. Good music in attendance. Cousin, wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of a garden. What, what if I don't need a husband? What if I'm married to flowers? Yeah, this is exactly the kind of pressure um, this person would be getting around this time. Period. The horse and the tortoise. At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the tortoise to a race. The tortoise accepted. The course was decided and the race began. The hare immediately leapt out of sight but then laid down to take a nap. I'm sure the tortoise would never catch up. The horse plodded slowly on, making his way towards the finish line. When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the line. The proud hare had been so sure he would win and underestimated the tortoise. As the tortoise crossed the line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race. Get wrecked, nerd. The Rising Sun. Okay... There's nothing to do up there, nothing in this little pot. Okay, so there's not too much on the second level here. The abridged version, yes. Okay. So... What do? Because I, uh... Can't really do much else here. I have no clues. And I need to get to, to Grandmama's vault. Is what I need to do. Hmm. Hmm. I think you're in Granny's Vault. No, this isn't Granny's Vault. This is just the library. Let's see. A vault would imply being hidden. And I don't know where it would be. Pretty sure it's something to do with this. But I need to know the order. There's a very specific order that we need here. Let's see. Fox and the Crow is evening. Maybe that's what this is. So, the Fox and the Crow is evening. Wonders of the Night Sky. Hmm. Feeling a trend here. Uh, midday. Yep, this is what it is. Okay. Okay, so... The Rising Sun... Uh-huh. Alright, yeah, I think we got it. And then... Bright Morning. So... It is Sun... Fish... Hair... If 
we go down here. So, sun, fish, hair, and then I just need to basically get one more. Here we go. Uh, evening is fox and crow. So you, then you. Hey, now we have grandmother's vault. Sunset, 1st of May, red, orange, yellow, pink. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. Blue, purple, pink, orange. Uh, London Record. Lindley appointed chair of botany at University College London after an esteemed early career as assistant secretary to the Horticultural Society and admission as one of the youngest ever fellows to the Linnean Society. John Lindley plans to elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus in his inaugural lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country to undervalue the importance of the science and to consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of man. And they also challenge the Linnean classification system and proposes many changes. Okay. Sunset, 8th of August. You. Okay, we need to find a very specific skyline, I'm sure. Nightfall progress. Grandma's research. I have been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. Determined to provide its more or prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I have deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year. When exactly that occurs still remains a mystery. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. There's the study. Okay, and there's my seed. The nightfall seed. And it's a crescent moon. That's nice. Okay, so all of that is done. We, of course, have all of these things that I will have to look at in more detail to understand exactly what is happening here. But we have the key to the study. Open. This is a nice study. Oh, my God. Meadow Orchids of Britain, collected and researched by Montague. My dear friend, I've been pondering these last weeks what could be the best way to see a remarkable flora reach the wider world, since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish your herbarium under his name? May not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would be a great way to reach your goal of adding the, the scientific record on botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away with warmest regards and... Oh, that sucks. All of your work having to be published under someone else. Uh, another bag. Judging by the name, I don't believe this to be an, <laughs> an edible mushroom. Sapphire gloom. Yeah, maybe not. We got some spores. And... I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary you're collecting materials for your uncle. So long as they are returned before summer ends, the professors won't notice. Best of luck. Theodore. Mushroom food sources. Just like plants, fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy. However, some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. This means they have become carnivorous because they only acquire the nutrients they need by consuming other living organisms such as flies, bugs, and plants. Some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on another type of fungus or parasite. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they're consuming the tree, so you should remove them immediately. Not always the case! Not always the case. We did see, um, one of the trees that had fungi growing on them. Okay, so... Add clue. Mushroom book, obviously. Uh, and what are you about? Tree diseases. Red tree pox. If a tree is infected with red tree pox, many small red spots will be visible on the bark. Can usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hypox... Hypoxleon? Causes black patches to form on the bark. This is about that weird tree. It's usually a sign that the tree is lacking in hydration and won't survive. Root parasite. is fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. The parasite leaches the nutrients that the tree retrieves from the oil. Eventually it causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. Currently no known cure. Bark rust, disease that isn't very harmful. It's usually caused by excess hydration and too much sunlight. Root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. 
What is this? River swan eggs? Various eggs. Interesting. This is such a satisfying display. My god. So I'm pretty sure this tree disease thing has to do with this, uh... This mushroom that I have. We go down here, we put the mushroom beside it. Yep, and that's the correct type of stuff. So... Let's, uh, get the pot out, put you there, put you there. Um, Sapphire Gloom. What there? And if we go put you right there. There you go. And that means you grow on the tree. Yeah, that one was remarkably easy. Oh, that's such a pretty visual, too. This game is cool. I like these games. Oh, I gotta add the other clue as well. Pretty Sapphire Gloom. It's a widely misunderstood mushroom. It grows commonly on trees, and as opposed to popular belief, the mushroom consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. Nice mushroom. There you go. So that one is done. Pretty easy, which means we can also get to a new room now. We should see what stuff I have to add to various other things, though. Um, sunset paintings definitely goes with this. Grandma's research, I also feel like, goes with that. I don't know where the bird eggs go yet, though. Alright, what's in here? Whole lot of stuff. The Trapped Fairy. Cool wings, fairy. Oh, this is such a good reading nook. Oh my god. The attic? Can't go in there. I was taking a walk through River in Somerset through a river in Somerset recently. I noticed a site that I just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. Never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what it could have caused this? Ever your friend Edith. Letter about weeds. Letter about weeds goes right there. Cradle fern? Fern painting. There you go. Easy. God, this sort of stuff just tickles me so much. I love it. Ooh, that actually opened. I didn't expect it to. Aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan balsam, brook chalice, duckweed. Make an appointment today. Okay. That probably also goes here. Weed removal. Let's see. Brook chalice, Himalayan. Yeah, it's gotta go there. Because you also thought it was a weed. There's the cradle fern. Past years, these ferns have drastically declined on the banks, so I feel compelled to research any changes in their environment. To be presented to the House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline of even and even extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense attends signing. Decline of bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. Hmm. I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with the, the birds were eating a very specific plant that was driven to extinction because they thought it was a weed because people were messing with the ecosystem. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of time, the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, who was very cool in Hades, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. Though just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Oh my god! Stories are always so... <gasps> my dear Nova! Baby! Oh, passed away, baby. Seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. My recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen at the party, 
All useful time and er erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let's put another trip of our own and perhaps we can see these species in our home habitats where they belong. Indeed. Okay, little things up here. Ah, some bedpans. Beautiful. Essence of Arnica flower. For sprains, stains, and joint pains. Tincture of red clover. Chamomile red clovers seem to soothe hot flushes. Ah, oh my god. Morgan would die upon seeing this bathtub. Pipe piece. Okay, okay. Here we go. Pipe puzzle time. Um. Yes. And. Yes. 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 And then I need one more. Possibly? Maybe not. I guess I could change it depending on which one of... Which one do we need? Do we need hot or cold water? That's the question. This is piping and separating the two. Oh wait, no, there's one right here. No, no. There we go. So we did have to fix both of them. Connect all the pipes. That was remarkably easy. I just missed that one on the floor. I think that's the one I had set down initially. I was thinking we were going to have to choose whether we wanted the, the water heater to have hot or cold water because that's probably what this is separating. No, they do both go into the into the heater. I've had to do a little bit of experience with water heating before dealing with them. For all plumbing and water system needs, uh, installation of disconnected pipes. Here's our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job. Best left to the professionals. Have a nice day. Is that so? Wow, I solved it in five seconds. Very complex. Although, in my experience, sometimes those things don't actually want to connect to each other like they should. So that's a thing, too. A hot bath at the turn of a tap provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. It can be used multiple times in a row without any extra costs. Cool. Okay, so what does this what does this apply to? Drastically decline the bank, so I feel like compelled to search any changes in their environments. Fern painting, weed removal. And this is probably has to do with the bath. I imagine this has to do with the bath, since it's talking it's the only one that's actually speaking about water. And it probably needs a very specific temperature to uh to work. So we just need to figure out what that temperature is. And this is about night. Yeah, that's probably to do with uh, the one thing. Aquatic weed. Upon you want some slime in it? We're specialized in removing weeds. Comes recent years. Bird species. Yeah. Okay, let's go over here and check out. We don't have that many seeds left, even. I want to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent Meadow Orchid research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the fields and inspiration to us all. I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I'll put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Most sincerely, Professor Montague. So this is a letter from Montague, and it talks about orchids. Brook chalice. Yeah, no, don't need to know anything about that. Okay. There is a sit. Ooh, the attic. Beautiful. Um, River Trust. River swimming season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we have cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, the River Chew, and the River Summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co., Thank you for your continued support. Thanks to your monthly donations, the rivers of Somerset are clean and weed-free. Yep, that's not a good thing. Sometimes weeds are important. So, River Trust? That wasn't the master bedroom. That wasn't where that was found. Master bedroom? 
It's not the master bedroom. Unless it's through here? No. Okay. Rivers of Somerset. Ah, here we go. Um, so yeah, we can solve this one. Uh, 15 degrees Celsius. That is what we needed. And I'm vowing, I'm ready to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. Turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you can join me in my research. Okay, well, the other one we need is the bath geyser and the river poster, probably? Not the bath geyser. Um, bird eggs? No. I don't actually know what the final clue is for this. I mean, I, I feel like this has to be all the stuff for river weeds currently, unless there's something more up here. Oh, hello. And we need to play specific bird calls. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to this. I don't need to do anything with that right now. Um, let's go figure out what is going on with you. So, we need, which one do we need? Uh, Cradle Fern, it was Cradle Fern, right? Pretty sure it's Cradle Fern. Uh, yep, Cradle Fern. All right, so we're gonna go put you over here. And I believe it was 15. So it needs to be way, 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 way cooler. There we go. Do you like that? No. No, you don't. You don't care at all, actually. 15. That is 15. That is, uh... Maybe there's another step? That I'm missing here. Where was the... Here it is. River... Summer. 15. Degrees Celsius. That looks right. And that is the one that they're talking about they were clearing it out of. Um... Oh wait, what is this? Ah. It's been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making it unsafe. Do not swim in the following rivers. Can, Somer, Chew. The rivers uh, from was also affected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led to that effect. Okay. Um... Do I need to have rust for it to thrive? Is that what is happening? I, mean, I don't see how I would get rust to form this quickly. Unless there was something that was already rusty. But uh, the letter about melodies is not. The government notice is probably what this wants. Weed removal? What, what was the weed removal again? Let's go check this out. There's the attic. Uh, I was thinking of some service and this is like they just had to write about in the water. I saw the broken ch brook chalice. I've never seen it or heard it flowering before. I mention it. Hmm. Yeah, we have cradle fern. So that might be the one that isn't correct. Open up. Flower growing companion. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. The moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during the year, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open until many months later. Okay. Moth spotting calendar. Southwest England. Look at all the moths! Hummingbird, hawk, emperor, scalloped oak, magpie. This is where we need bugs. Cinnabar, green carpet. Moth babies. Okay. Rusty pig, that's what I needed. Is this Bugs' room? Yes. 
This is what I needed, rusty pig. So if we put this in there, this should make it grow. Do you like that? Do you enjoy? Maybe I have to fill it more? Hmm. I thought that would have been it. Do I have like another weed? Brook chalice. Letter about weeds. Uh, yeah, no, wait, you mentioned brook chalice. I think I just have the straight up wrong one. This is the fern. This isn't what they were calling the weed. So, let's put all the weed stuff over here. Weed removal. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's what I did wrong. Okay, so the cradle fern is not supposed to go in there, I don't think. I mean, it perked up when I put it in, so I thought, but no, I don't think that's supposed to go there. Is it not going to let me since I already have something? Ooh, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Okay, so yeah, I think we did. The past year, these ferns have drastically declined on the banks, so I feel compelled to research any changes. It is still talking about the banks, but it's not a weed, which is what the brook chalice was talking about. And that's definitely the letter about weeds. So all weed related things need to go over here. Petition, what was the petition about? Just years, hunts have been taking place. Tragically, this led to the decline. Okay, so that's that. This has to do with you. So the petition, yes, has to do with you. And then weed removal is over there. So the petition is with you. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. The fern painting. Cradle fern, yes. Okay. Okay, and then we need to look at a few more of these things. So the river trust cleared of weeds so the river trust needs to be over here not on the other one government notice in the bell tower that's you in Somerset these rivers are now polluted with rust making them unsafe for swimming rust pollution so this must also have to do with the, with the weed the brook chalice uh, what about melodies for painting? What, what 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 was this? Health and safety warning. River poster, river trust, weed removal petition, letter about melodies, government notice. There we go. Okay, so fern petition, river trust doesn't need to be here. I'm thinking bird calls. And the eggs need to be here. And then the river poster. Okay. Okay, so fern. So we have the fern painting, we have the petition. Held the research and need bird calls. Okay, the bird calls was in the bell tower up here. So let's research this, find the egg I need. Uh, shoveler duck, blue heron, shell duck, pintail, golden mallard, crested owl, silver magpie, red billed, moorhen, teal, tufted duck. Okay. And then that's where we gotta compare the eggs. But I have to find out which one that they actually like. Does this give me any information? Bridges? No. None of this talks about it. Yeah. I mean, this one, Letter About Melodies, I'm pretty sure, also pertains to this. Letter About Melodies. There we go. Okay, so that's all we need for the Cradle Fern. I just need to find the correct egg. I was getting them mixed up. So, the egg is back here in Zia's study. Okay, so... This doesn't tell me a bunch of shell duck egg. Oh, wait, 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 
Aha! Yes. And the reason it's called the cradle farm is because it cradles the eggs. So there's ones with like with little teardrops on it. That's the one we need to replicate. This one. The crested owl owl eggs. Owls, I love owls. This game's great. I'm having a great time. Okay, so I need to take my fern up here. Put you right there. I need to replicate the crested owl call. E C D Okay. Um Let's see here. Let's make sure we get this right. So E C D E G F D E G F Hey, we did it! <laughs> Look at it, it's so pretty. Alright, good stuff. I grew it. I did the thing. Cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest, and in turn the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime-like call to grow. Yes. Good, good. Now, I grab the other seed, which is the um, brook chalice. Seed packet, location attic. So, that is the one here, and evidently we're going to have some moth stuff to deal with. Side of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of light. Which means the flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom and is different for each flower. But most do appear to respond to light and color of light in some, in some way. Horticulturalists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming at any time they like. Okay. Ah, yes, I see. I see. So that's where this is going to come into play. And yeah, we put it right there. I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I've arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He is successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become an accomplished scientist, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son. It would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I'm confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours sincerely, Aunt Agnes. Hey, Agnes! I didn't ask for your help. How about that? Oh, cute mushroom picture. That's adorable. Okay. There's my seeds. There's my brook chalice. And the Botanist Digest. This month in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. In his words, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of these mysteries. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of meadow orchids and other botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as the... Dactyloriza Montague, or Hood Marsh Orchid. I... tried. An attempt. There was one. Duck! It's a mallard. Okay. So, that's most of the stuff taken care of up here. I just need to go plant... My, uh, my, my thing that likes a certain degree of temperature, water, and, uh, likes rust. So, my brook chalice. Boop. There you go. Now, you should grow. Based off of what I can tell. So, you're gonna get your ass in this rusty water, and you're gonna like it. Damn you! Uh, letter about weeds, weed removal, river trust, government notice. So what other clues do I have? River poster? And then trapped moths, moth calendar, site of plants. 
Fairy painting, fairy story. There we go. Okay, so, which made me want to research them. I need it to germinate, though. Strain the bath. And it is set to 15. Let's try filling again. Maybe, maybe, you know, it just has to go through the process again. Still doesn't like it. I mean, Nightfall is so clearly the one that Grandmama is talking about. So what am I screwing up here? Letter about weeds, weed removal, river trust, government notice, river poster, bath geyser. These things should all be correct. I fixed this. Flushing the toilet does nothing. It's a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and immediately instantly. It can be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Solution disconnected pipes. Uh, something I'm missing here. And I don't know what. It's just all about that stuff. Yeah, Brook Chalice. That is that is considered the weed. The petition was for the other thing. Hmm. I mean there's the note about weeds down here. Do you have any idea what caused this? I mean, I thought I had an idea of what caused it, but evidently not. The river stream has cleared all weeds thanks to the river cam, the river tube, and the river summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services. Oh, I think I know what it is. Uh, I think I know what it is. Better attention to these rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe. Do not swim in the falling rivers. The river from was also affected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely free. Yeah, it didn't get cleared. That's what it is. So we're not supposed to be using summer. We're supposed to be using from. Which is 25 degrees. That's it. I got there. Eventually. So, nope. There we go. Drain that shit, re-pour it. This poor rusty pig. Now that should work. If it doesn't, I'm worried. There we go. There we go. Those are some happy little little song stingers I like to hear. Look at you, Bloom. That was a very pretty one. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Now this is just a beautiful bathtub, except for the rust, of course, but... Okay, so... Oh, it was still blooming. That one took a minute. It prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Fortunately, they get removed often, as most people prefer their ponds to be weed-free. Such a pretty weed, though. Okay, so now that we've done that, I assign basically everything else to this, because it is all that is left. And we figure out what is going on here. So, I know it's something to do with the attic. Uh, we get the certain seed, put it in the attic. And we have to have very specific things going on with it. We have to create a very specific kind of uh, fake sunset and stuff with these. So let's go see what exactly it is that you like. Which means I need to go over here. So, uh, horticultural society, no. Grandmama's notes. Determined to prove more than just a myth so far, I've deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time. What exactly that occurs still remains a mystery. Okay, sunset. Sunset, 25th of June. 
Blue, purple, orange. Okay. And then, based off of the other hints, I gotta find out which sunset I need. Based off of time periods and stuff. Okay, okay. So, to help with that... Enjoying how chill this game is? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. I'm having a great time. Uh, you'll you'll see me solve the moth puzzle. You came just in time. Varby moths. Uh, I'm going the wrong way though. Have you seen this game before, Bugs? It came out a little bit ago, but I I definitely wanted to try it. Sometimes the moth can become trapped if its blood closes in the morning. The moth is enforced, uh, yep, so we know about that. These are the various types of moths. Um, moth spotting calendar for southwest England. Okay, so we have to figure out which one of these, and that's going to tell us which month we need the sunset to be. So sunset, grandma's research, site of plants. Moths poster, moth calendar, trapped moths in the attic. Possible I played it, I didn't finish it though. That's super cute. Use of this knowledge. No, that's just the side of plants. We need the brochure on trapped moths. Is it? Nope, that's the one talking about how I need to find a husband. Fuck you. Uh, that's not what I need. There's the mallard. Where is this little brochure about trapped moths? Hmm. Yes. Got slightly bored because it wasn't challenging and felt busy work even though it was cute. Yeah, some of them are a little bit easier than others. Oh wait, this is the thing it's talking about. Yeah, so we just need to compare that with the fairy story and fairy painting. Um, so very specific kind of wings, the trapped fairy. We match that with you. Which is the poplar hawk moth. I believe. No, not quite. That looks more like cow spots. So that's the eyed hawk moth? Or the garden tiger moth? I'm guessing the garden tiger moth. Yeah, because it has the little red under it, too. Yep, that's the Garden Tiger Moth. Okay, so where are you? Garden Tiger... Garden Tiger... Garden Tiger... September! So I need a September sunset, and we just need to grab what colors that is. September, 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 April, June, September, blue, yellow, orange, red, blue, yellow, orange, red. That being said, I have, I've had, have had some of the, uh, um, some of the things give me a little bit of trouble because I'm dumb, but we've been fine. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Push. Oh wait, I need the thing. Oh wait, no, it's already there. There you go. No? No like? No like? Blue, yellow, orange, red? Was that, was that correct? September, that should have been when the moth was happening. Having to run between all the various things is a little bit of a struggle at times. I wish it like kept notes in my book so I could just easily look. Blue, yellow, orange, red, yes. Sunset of September. So what detail am I missing? It has to be something to do with this. Hmm. 
So on approach, the sun arose, the spell broke. That just this very awoke from your enchantment. The player will closed. I think this is more so just to hint that, yeah, the moth closing in there. So what am I getting wrong? Up here. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Should be it. That is the correct seed. Oh, did I not water this fucker? Did I not water this fucker? Fuck. It's still the seed. I didn't germinate it. God damn it. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, it's very pretty. There you go, Grandmama. <sighs> Seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September sunsets. Night pollinators active in September, such as the garden tiger, often get trapped once the bud closes. Okay, that's everything, right? Yep, there's my delivery. Okay. Thank you. This is the wrong way. Not that I might think I just have really strong plant and animal search images. I mean, honestly, I didn't really get stuck on many of them. Usually if I got stuck on something, it was like... I got stuck on one because I thought one thing was a weed when it wasn't. Uh, just like some misconstrued information. And then I got stuck on that because I forgot to water the seed, but there's hasn't really been a point yet where I've gotten truly stuck on something, honestly. I apologize so heartily for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket, and I had simply forgotten it was there. Didn't want to disturb your research, so I left the key in the basket. Thank you, Jimmy. Formal garden. Finally, we can get over there. Yeah, I mean, as far as puzzle solving goes, I'm sort of happy with my progress in this one. I'm okay sometimes. I do just love stuff like this. So much. Okay, formal garden. And there we go. Five, climbing up. Plants. It's gorgeous for sure. Yeah, I do love how striking it is visually. None of the puzzles are too particularly crazy, but uh, it's a pretty short experience, so I don't feel like it over overstays its welcome, which is good because this is this is it right here. So, on its illustrated penny paper, it was a message. Local man reports mysterious si uh, mystery signal. A gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from caves near his home in Cheddar. In his own words, I was walking my dog and lost track of time. Soon it became dark and I decided to make the walk back home. On the way to my house in a tiny cave is a tiny cave and as I walked by I noticed a blinking light pattern cast from the cave entrance. I was sure it was some sort one of those Morse code messages. When I approached the ca uh, cave the light source vanished and nobody was there. I'm convinced that what I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. I will never Forget that one abbreviation as it was the first message I learned. Local authorities have assured our journalists there have been no recent military activity or exercise in the area, so the mystery remains unsolved. It's a plant. Yar, it'd be a plant. <gasps> do I get to do I get to do like like go to like the watercress or the some lily pad or something? Oh kitties! 
Oh, that's a cute greeting card. I was delighted after our recent mentoring session. You do excellent work as a fellow scholar of the natural world. I recall the spring dance shrub that once grew in your garden before you departed on your travels. How wonderful it would be to see it growing again. I've been compiling plant specimens that require pollination to mature into their adult stage. Wonder if the spring dance shrub is one of these plants. Ever your affectionate friend, Lavinia. Okay, so... Let's see. Spring dance shrub. Greeting card, obviously. Um... Then... Uh, yeah... Select full emeralds. We'll get to those. Uh, chemical components in wildflowers: jasmine, indole, poppy, opium, foxglove, digitoxin, full emerald, luciferin, daffodil, galantamine, and Saint John's wort, hypericin, hypericin. Did a great job on it, and I would have probably played it more if I had new glasses and could have enjoyed reading everything in the TV screen without squinting. Oh yeah, no, that would be, that would be a struggle. I was delighted to find out that they had uh, priest holes in this, which was uh, cool to see for a history, um, history thing. Luciferins and bugs. That's interesting because I was going to comment on the fact that it has a funny name because it's straight up just the devil. Uh, so, that is Fool's Emerald, uh, Plant Chemicals. There's my Fool's Emerald. Friend gifted me these seeds, so I don't know too much about them. Marvel of Bioluminescence! In the darker corners of our world, there are plants and organisms that are able to produce their own light. These plants, fungi, and insects are most often found in areas of low light, such as dark forest, deep oceans, and gloomy caves. Recent discoveries show that chemicals such as lucifer luciferin are responsible for the glowing effect. It is not known what this glowing effect is used for, but it could be for the communication with others of the same species or to attract pollinators or food. Scientists believe there are many bioluminescent species waiting to be discovered. Ha ha ha! So, I'm guessing luciferin is in, like, lightning bugs? Fireflies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Bugs saw the moth, um, the moth thing. I looked at it, uh, shortly after she came in. Okay, so we can't go past there. Okay, so we have two things associated with you now. Uh, obviously we need a cave, so it probably needs to be damp and gloomy. Which might be what it wants me to use that for, I'm imagining. That might be our cave substitute. There's my little area to do that. And Lucifer means glorious one, I believe. Interesting. And then there's Spring Dance. As in glowing glorious, he was supposed to be the most beautiful of angels. Indeed he was. Lucifer is supposed to be hot. And cool. And made a good point. That's why a lot of the angels followed him when he left. Because they were like, you know what? You know, he's talking some he's talking some good shit actually. <laughs> uh boom. Uh Fool's Emeralds what we want, right? Yes. Lucifer has something to do with light. It's light bringer, bear, something. Yeah. I mean, isn't it like loose or like Luke that is a root for light? Or am I thinking? No, I'm thinking of Lux, aren't I? Ooh, we have to fill something in there possibly to get it. It looks like a clover. Okay, I got my fool's emerald. Guano? Okay, we got peat and everything. Peat. Um, probably just gonna have to set you down for a second. Uh, tips for growing hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are beautiful flowers that contain anthocyanin, which is a pigment that changes color depending on the pH levels. The colors can vary between red, purple, and blue. Hydrangeas. Do I have a hydrangea? Uh... Oh, no, yet. Garden supplies. 
Um, new material for garden pots. Terracotta, granite to suit all gardens. Sandstone, marble, obsidian. Cool. Terracotta just makes me think of the terracotta warriors. Obviously. Which is very neat if you've never seen anything about them. And the story behind them. My sweet Hazel, are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone and broke the lawnmower again. Damn it, Jimmy. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose with the mower. He said he ran over some hard object down the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. And four communication military codes. The method of communication over long distances must be selected according to the requirements of the scenario. If a message contains no sensitive information or there is no enemy presence, an open method of communication such as telegraphy can be used. If open communication is permissible, both receivers may still benefit from abbreviation of messages. See plate 2 for a table of commonly used military abbreviations, even telegraphy and Morse code. God, I've done Morse code so much in uh, escape sims and stuff. <sighs> Close communication methods rely more upon both technology and ingenuity. Um, so, attention, which is KA. Over long distance. Case of secrecy and obfuscation. Planning is required and both parties must have knowledge of the method of encryption used. Brief history of long-range military communications. Ancient Greece, water telegraphy and torch telegraphy. Ancient Rome, smoke signaling. 16th century, beacon and pigeons. 18th century Murray Shutter Telegraph, 18th century Radiated Telegraph, and 19th century Morse Code. My first interaction with Morse Code was watching the beginning of Balto, which I watched a ton of Balto when I was younger. I'm back from my playing of Baldur's Gate 3 and I didn't enjoy it. Yep, game sucks. Oh no, Leafy got mind flared. For sure. That's not really Leafy. Leafy would never say that. Clearly the Illithids got to him. Mine flayed, I suppose. The telegraph you ordered arrived while you were at the farmer's market. They delivered it by boat. I left it at the boathouse since I didn't know where you'd like to keep it. There appears to be a Morse code manual inside the case. Okay. We need to figure out how to get into that place for my other plant. This place over here. Oh no, poor baby. I'm ready for some, uh, the witness? Yeah, this is the witness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's botany witness. The witness to botany. Oh, I'm sorry, birdie. Have to be nice to him now that he's, uh, flayed and infirm? Nah, it's fine. He'll be back at fishing games tomorrow. Or Sunday, rather. Open. So we made it over here again. Fishing never stops. You don't have to be nice to Leafy because um, he got mind flayed. You have to be nice to Leafy because he played River King today. <laughs> That's what you need to be nice to Leafy for. Uh, Anthrocyanin's research. Spring dance shrub. Okay, well, I know what you go to. Uh, pigment research, soil pH research, granite, terracotta, I don't know what that one goes to quite yet. We're going to hold off on that, but I know the plant pots are over there doing their thing. So, cheeky. Recently heard of your involvement in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of its complexities. While I admire your dedication, the saying, the blind leading the blind does come to mind. All just aside, I do hope your endeavors in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Sincerely, Professor Thornton. Hey, Professor Thornton. I hope you get a thorn in your face. How about that, Professor Thornton? Would really go well with your name. Thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your, uh, or rhubarb from the nephew's garden. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal poultice I gave him for his little one, but I am grateful all the same. You know he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor since he cannot read a note. Please send him my thanks when you see him. Faithful yours, Hazel. Okay, there's a lot. There'll be a lot. 
Are you gonna play that anime style fishing game that Quasi played that everyone liked? The the professor is such an asshole. I I hate the professor. We we have we have my family telling me, hey, you need to start popping out babies instead of doing this whole like you know research in the botany thing because it's kind of your duty and all that. And then we got the professor being like, oh, botany is an established field for men only. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we get a lot of uh, we got a lot of assholes to deal with. Not a fun time. So the bird clearly has something to do with something. I think I still have the the angler game on my PlayStation, so I could straight up get you the name of it. I, I forget that it was wild. It was wild that game, but it would honestly be good for fishing game months. The, the fishing was more in depth than I thought. Mixed seed for garden birds. Attract a host of garden birds such as bluebirds, finches, robins, and warblers. That's weird kerning. With this seed prepared at the highest quality levels, simply spread the seeds in an appropriate bird table or feeding surface, and observe the delight of your feathered garden neighbors. Dicks are important in planting seeds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super important. It would be fantastic and everyone wanted to see more of it. They did, and I didn't play it that long. So Leafy would have the opportunity to play it much longer. The only problem is he would have to get through like the 30 minutes of visual novel preamble to get to where he can actually fish. So... The boathouse. God, you have a boat too? Oh my god. Attracting birds with color. Just like bees, birds can pollinate flowers. But did you know that birds have a preference to pollinate flowers of certain colors? The above chart shows which color of flowers attract which birds to your garden. Here we go. I think I might have seen it. Was it Real Fishing Road Trip Adventure? I believe that was it. Saw a friend uh, streaming it and remember seeing a VN fishing game for a few minutes. Yep, yep, that's the one I'm pretty sure. I downloaded it for my fishing thing, and then I was like, it, I played it for so long, and I was like, I promised this was a fishing game, and then at like, the 30 or 40 minute mark, it was like, hey, here's fishing. And I was like, thank god, I was scared I just downloaded a visual novel for fishing day. It does involve a lot of reading, yes. Uh, okay. So, we currently have the full Zimmerald planted. I need to find out more information about what wants what. Because I, I still need to get in there. Damn it, this is hard. Full Zimmerald. Like. Hmm. Hmm. Someone broke the lawnmower for orange orangery. He said he had some hard object down in the long grass near the pond. Hard objects. Note about lawn. Is that listed as a note about telegraph? No. Near the pond? Hard object in the grass near the pond. Guessing it's talking about this. Is this the thing I need to put into thingy to make thingy do? This feels like an obtuse solution, if it is. Oh, down here. I didn't go down here. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I saw a friend streaming a fishing game a few days ago and thought, huh, I must be living in a simulation. Now that you and Klausie brought the game up, this 100% confirms it. Yeah, I'm sorry, you are. Everybody laugh at Leafy! <laughs> Everybody's, uh... Actually, no, I'm going the Truman Show route. You're talking about a simulation. No, Truman Show Leafy would be funny too, though.
Let me see the soul pH thing. Oh, yeah, no, I know that's real shit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, where are you at? There's the lawnmower. Aha! You are what I need. A handle. So that I can go open the thingy. So we're gonna go put you right over here. There we are! Alright, that can fill in. You know what, let's actually watch the process. Look at the lily pads! Look at the lily pads. Oh, Raxby would be so happy. I don't think these would support my weight. I mean, cool that it does, but I don't think it would. I have difficulty believing. I don't want um, Truman Show experiment or simulation experiment. Want to just see how badly you can break it? No, because it'd break me. Famous ones that can't support people? Would these be big enough to support a person? I mean, this one's pretty huge, but... They would if they were Lotads. Or Ludicolo. Then you'd have to listen to the Ludicolo do their song. Ludicolo, Ludi Ludicolo. Hi. Phenomena of spiritualism. My dearest cousin, whilst I hold a deep, fa deep fascination for the pursuit of knowledge and science, I must admit that the subject of spiritualism is not one that particularly captivates me. Therefore, I must return to spoke to you. However, I appreciate your efforts in sharing your interests with me. With affection, Arabella. Will-O-Wisp, glowing spirit of marshes, forests, and caves. Will-O-Wisp is an eerie apparition that has long been the subject of both fear and fascination. Makes its appearance to lost travelers in dark, isolated places, and beckons them to follow with its beguiling, blinking light. Many a wanderer has followed the wisp's alluring light, across marshes or into caves, never to be seen again. Take heed! Those who venture into dark places resist the temptation of the will-o'-wisp's shimmering radiance. Turn back before it is too late. Well, that goes over here. Oh, it's not listed. Okay, never mind. It's not actually a note, but it's clearly talking about the bioluminescence plant thing that we have. You'll last no unless you're really tiny. Unfortunately, I am not very tiny. Being 6'1". Unfinished painting. Expect Arabella's paintings. Okay. Sure. Park lily pads. Oh, those are big lily pads! Oh, that's cool. Big lily pad. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's definitely a Ludicolo. You look at that thing, you know it's just sitting under there, under the water. It's singing it. No, yeah, for sure. Makes me think of the, 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 the Diglett and Doug Trio song. Nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about, but there's an episode of Pokemon where there's Diglett and Doug Trio, and they have this earworm that they play. Where it goes, diglet dig, diglet dig, trio, 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 and it just it, it does that a lot. And there's the diglets in Doug Trio, but diglet dig, diglet dig, trio, trio, trio. They're famous for us, and I fantasize about napping on one. It would be nice. One of the first episodes, yeah, I know that one. I don't remember which one it is. I thought it was a later one, but I might be wrong. Open gates. Another cute sun hat. And a house. It's another Clefairy one too, those fuckers. Oh yeah, the one with the weird, um, the weird... Uh, inspect all the ducks! I did it! Uh, the one with the weird scientist friend that is obsessed with, uh, aliens. That was a time. Open? Aha! There's the Morse code one. Gotcha. And we can go in here and check. My mother even knows that song. It's a very early episode. Is it? Damn. My timeline's all screwed up. I haven't watched the episodes from the uh, YouTuber that I watched that goes through every single episode of Pokemon in a while. I should probably rewatch those. Bots of Tartan Bath, William Foley. Educational and school materials supplied to Lady Annabella. 
Hey, we got our classroom! Hell yeah! Thank you for your order. We just, as discussed, we will write again in the coming months before you have a delivery date for these school supplies. All the best. Oh? Critter cards. Rabbit. Hedgehog. Gray squirrel. Mole. Red squirrel. Wood mouse. Excuse me, are we playing... We're playing tabletop? What is this? Tabletop. What is this? What is this? D -d 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 Woodland creatures D and D. Foraging critters. Okay. Foraging critters. Game rules. Shuffle the food cards and place the stack face down in the center of the game board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Place the animals on the start tile. Players choose their animal by rolling the dice. The highest roller goes first. Take turns to roll the dice and move your animal along the woodland path. The highest roller goes first. If you land on a food tile, pick up a food card. If your animal matches the card, you can collect tokens specified. Land on the gray squirrel tile, it steals all of your food tokens and they must be returned to the board. Damn those gray squirrels. The player who has the most food tokens in their nest at the end of the game is the winner. That's like the most... That's the simplest instructions for a tabletop game I've ever seen in my life. I've never been so glad to be super left out. Pokemon's great! I wasn't allowed to watch TV, it's why I'm smart about nerd stuff and the ding bad about pop culture. I mean, so am I. I don't... I know fuck all about most pop culture things. Except some video game stuff, but even then I'm... Despite it being my main hobby, I don't even know a lot about video games. Animal husbandry and rehabilitation. For all work with animals domesticated and wild. Animal heartbeat rates. Give it in BPM? Okay. Damn shrews. Chill. Shrews need to chill. Edison records? Uh, phonographs. Okay. Play a certain type of music. This is the oscillates. Okay, we need to go finish our other stuff, though. This was a cute distraction, but I still need to go finish my cave. I'm coming back to you, cave. Also, remember where I set down my potted plant, in case you thought I forgot. Nothing escapes this steel trap. <laughs> All right, friends, come walk with me, and let's go. All right, put you in there. Now the question becomes, what else do I need to do with you? So, we are going about bioluminescence and that stuff. I don't want to hear that water in my brain the entire time I'm trying to read this. Okay, so... Hydrangeas, pot catalog, military codes, that's about the telegraph. Maybe some of this stuff isn't... the correct things to have placed on you. Human farmer reported mysterious sightings from caves near his home. Like the tiny cave, blinking lights. Yeah, I mean... And then the Fool's Emerald. Bioluminescence. From... Where was that at? That was up here. A plant called Goblin's Gold, this reminds me of. Goblin's Gold's a cool name. Chemical compounds and wildflowers. Yeah, and this is what made me think, okay, it's Fool's Emerald that's the one that makes the lights. And then... Yeah, this confirms that. So, bioluminescence and plant chemicals. That's what I have down. It lights up. We know this. Hmm... Spring Dance Shrub, that's the greeting card, that's why I assigned that to you. 
Okay, so I really just need more information about what specifically we have to do. What else do we have to do with the full Zimmerald? There's a news article. Was that? Mm, wasn't over here. Was that up here? Now see, the main problem with this is I don't remember where all of this stuff lies at this point. Uh, yeah, that's the thing we learned about to get the one thing. Garden pots to suit all gardens. Tips for growing hydrangeas. And then there's all of this shit. Broke the lawnmower. Military codes. So, I'm guessing the military codes has to do with the, the thing too, because it said flashing lights and Morse code, and it specifically said attention. So, K-A. And then there's the Morse codes thing down there. So maybe military codes pertains to this? Where's the note from the person saying that they, they saw this wild shit? What was that? Was that you? Yes, the newspaper article. Yeah, and personally, uh, I'm sure it was one of those Morse code messages from the cave entrance. And you were positive it was Morse code abbreviation for attention. So that goes right here. Hydrangeas, pot catalog, military codes, definitely too. Notes about telegraph. And then, I don't know what else is the problem. And there's a thing down there. Yeah, K-A. Attention. Okay. And this is, yeah, the telegraph. Okay, let's go back down there. That's the one I have the seed currently planted in, so... I, I, I must need it at the moment. Or something. Anything interesting in here? No. I just think I need the darkness for it, but... Maybe I have to do something with the... Thing first? God, if I get stuck here at the end, that's going to be a struggle. Whew. This has been a cool experience, though. Okay. Hi. So... What can I do with you? So... K is long dot long. A is... So long dot, long dot, long. Okay. Long dot, long dot, long. Long dot, long dot, long. Okay. That doesn't help me. This, this does not help me. I can't pick it up and bring it anywhere. Is the problem. That's what I'm... Worried about? Hmm. Because this, this doesn't do anything for me at the moment. And I can't even, like, place you anywhere to do anything interesting with you. I was really hoping I would be able to just pick up this thing and bring it with me. Oh my god, I can. Okay. That's the damn problem. I was bringing it down here to that to think that, oh, that maybe I can do some. No, we go in here, we play the thing while it's in the darkness. Maybe, maybe that does it. Maybe that helps. God, I hope this is right because this is quite a trek and then I'm gonna have to go back and get the damn seed too. Is there even a place to set it in here? I mean, yeah, I guess there's space space for it right here. No, open it, damn you. 
now. I get my damn plant back. Because I, I can't make a new pot, right? Can I? Never mind. We're doing this. We're, ma we're making a new pot. Full Zimmerald. Here you go. That one can stay down there. It, it lives down there now. Alright. Okay, so... And it was long dot, long dot. Yeah. So long dot. Long dot. Hey! We did it. Yeah, someone else can deal with that. I'm not dealing with that. Okay. Two more left. And I feel like these are going to be a little bit easier to deal with. Oh, it's very pretty, I must say. Uh, I can add one more clue to you. Wolves Emerald is a vine that contains loose, loose, luciferin, which allows it to create light. It grows in caves where they use light to communicate. Um, so what was the final thing? Morse code. There we go. They do have a lot of pretty flowers. Look at it! Aw, oh, this is sick. I'd read a book in here. I'd sleep in there. Okay. So, that is done. Um, next we have the Ocelot. This has the greeting card and the pigment research associated with it. It's to grow in gardens, spring dance, shrub. The pigment research is what exactly? And it's nothing over here. This is also probably the one that you need to use the very specific pots for. It's also probably the one that I need to figure out the shit with the birds. Okay, this is why I had it set to this. Okay, so... Spring Dance Shrub, that also means the thing... ...about hydrangeas probably goes with it. So... Soil pH research probably goes with it as well, if it's right here beside that. So, let's put that there. Okay. Now, it just depends on what pH we want our shit to be. I suppose. What else do we got? No wise. Bird seeds probably has to do with this. Hydrangeas, soil pH, pigment research, pot catalog. Well, I don't know that the pot catalog goes with that. Oh, I didn't mean to put it down twice. Bird seeds and bird poster. There we go. Okay, so all of that is correct. Um, we just need to find what color this thing is, which may have been in the greeting card. I end up with a multicolor hydrangea. That's neat. So does this does this person specifically mention? what it looked like. Why did I recall the spring dance show the road to get a travels? How beautiful it was this would be seen ground in common plants, but it's quite pollination. Your shrub is one of those plants. Say what color it is. I mean I know I probably know what color this is what it's like dealing with primary sources in history. So many times when you need primary sources in history you'll you'll have some person that's like, dude, holy shit. Craziest thing happened today. Absolute craziness, but they never actually say what it is. Which they shouldn't, because they were living in a time period where they assumed everybody had heard of this great event, but it's extra frustrating when you're uh, looking at it from a historical perspective. Sorry, the history comes out sometimes. Okay, this is where this pot probably has to end up. Yes. Okay, and then, yeah, we choose what kind of bird we want to attract. You're at least 30% here for the history. Really? What are you? You're not scared of humans, that's for damn sure. Okay, red, white, uh, like gray.
Red, white, gray. Red, white, gray. Uh, I believe that's the bullfinch. believe that's a bullfinch. We did also have like bird seed here. Mix seed for garden birds. So if I put you right here. Tracking certain kinds of birds. There's, oh, I have to lead it all the way over here. Holy shit. Okay, that's some work. I gotta lead it all the way over here, I think. That's what this line of suspicious things is for. Oh my god. Okay, well... What, what did you empty this one? No, you didn't empty it. Here you go. Yeah, you love it. Yeah, you love it. Um... Is there a spot down there? No. Will you let me pick you up? No. Will you come to this one? Maybe? How do I actually get you to follow is my problem. Because there's none down here. Yeah, the next one is right there. I'm missing something. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I missed these. Come here, you dummy. There you go. Oh, this is- this is a lot of manual work just to get a bird. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm surprised this bird doesn't just stay at the one. Come on, you little shit. Get over here. Fly to it, thank you. The bird is very greedy, yes. It's a leafy bird. Stealing all of the items in Dokopan. <laughs> oh yeah, I was looking uh, earlier today when I was playing Unicorn Overlord. I basically have to get like a bunch of generic units together. And I was like, I could totally, totally make a squad of the Doka crew in Unicorn Overlord. There's perfect classes for everybody. Gondola was the f hardest to find a fit for, but uh, I, I think I have one that works. But I could totally do it. They even allow you pretty big freedom with the colors and stuff, so I could even have like everyone's color scheme add up as well. It was pretty neat. I'd die, but thank you for making me into a printy. You're welcome. I just want you to know that I throw you at the beginning of every battle to do AoE damage to the other enemies. That's why you die. What's the only strategy you need in Disgaea? I'm happy Disgaea 7 was actually good, apparently. Considering, um, 6 was god-awful and the one I actually played on the channel. Okay, so we just did all of that. So, our plant will like us. Now, I just need to get the pH levels correct. And it's red, so it needs to be 12 to 14, which means we need a sandstone pot with seaweed. There's my sandstone. Sandstone? Are you sandstone? I feel like you're probably sandstone. You're sandstone. Sandstone pot. Um, sea seaweed. Hey, hey you. 
How do I... How do I... How do I get it? If you'll do anything to be in the same universe as mermaids. I'm sure there's a fanfic somewhere out uh, there that will help you find peace. I'm sure there is. You just gotta delve the internet, Leafy. Oh, it's probably because I actually need dirt in it. I'm not just filling the whole damn pot with seaweed. Come on. There we go. Now it'll work, right? Yes. There you go. Just sprinkle some seaweed on there. Now we put the seed in place. Um, and it is the spring dance shrub. There we go. Alright, and then I'm only gonna have one more left after this and we're done. So, finish finishing up about the time I expected to. Which is good. Hopefully the other games finish around the same periods as well. Oh, it's motherfucker, I didn't water it. Oh, gods. Didn't water this stupid sandstone seaweed bastard. I suggest searching mermaids without cloacas. Leafy got a wooga at a lot of the things in uh, vanilla in, in Dragon's Crown. He doesn't need the mermaid, it would just be good. But he'd also take scantily clad random fairy woman? Um... Amazon, Sorceress, you know, there's a, there's a lot of options. Here you go. Do you like it? Yay! Good. Hi, bird friends! Thirteen Sentinels is on another level that would definitely get a homie band. I, I I haven't even seen any of the art in Thirteen Sentinels. I see everybody say Thirteen Sentinels is really cool. I never saw anybody say they made them hornby. Contains anthocyanins, causing it to change color depending on the pH level of its environment. Robins love red flowers and will be attracted to the red variants. We are good. Okay, and then this, I am missing something. But playing cards, board game rules, animal heartbeats. All things we can work with. It's nice of them to keep his hidden files filed. It's great, it's on my backlog. I've heard it, it was crazy long. Uh, I, I think I saw Wooly's, like, the amount of videos Wooly uploaded of it on YouTube, and holy fuck. It was long. Ah, uh, select. Let's create some. Oh yeah, no, that's that's super what they call it. Oh, um, I pulled it away before it finished. I hope that didn't screw something up. Giant video game garbage pile is too much of a word salad. I had a backlogged at one point, but I didn't keep up with it as much as I did, like, my analyst or anything like that. I also basically, like, I basically realized I was like, well, I don't play any games that I'm not streaming and or recording, so there's not really any point in me having a list to keep track of them all. Done. We need to make this work. Animal heartbeat rates. There's something else here. I'm supposed to read. How weeds spread. Weeds can take over an area quite rapidly. Some weeds have adapted in order to spread their seed as <laughs> as far as possible. Shut up. The plant itself does not have much control over this, but trust nature to lend a helping hand. What avens and goose grass have seeds of the hook? I'm tired, okay? Designed to attach to the fur of passing animals. They are then carried and dropped up the 
up to several miles away. Dandelions have seeds with an attached feathery puff that allows them to simply be carried by the wind to a faraway location. Other plants such as lord and lords and ladies wrap their seeds in an attractive berry, which birds consume and then later deposit as waste a great distance away. Final, more mysterious example is the seed of the ocelet. It is known to be picked up by critters who then take it back to their nest. As soon as the animal goes to sleep, the seed sprouts into bloom. It is not quite understood how the plant is able to detect when the creature is asleep. That was my final clue. Weeds and seeds. Did you water it? Um, I did, but I'm concerned it didn't actually take the water or something because I kind of pulled it away while the watering animation was still happening, but it wouldn't let me water it again. So, for example, if I can find a place to set you down, there you go. Um, let's get rid of this, put you here, put you there. It won't let me water it again. So I think it's good. Unless, like, animation borked or something. So we will see. Alright, playing cards. Um... What animal would like this? It checks to see if they're nap-napping. Uh, shuffle the food cards. Nice shoes. Board game rules, yeah. He turns to roll the dice, move your animals, food card, you get a gray squirrel, steals all your tokens, place tokens, woodland cards, rabbit, field cards, red squirrel, hedgehog, hog, rabbit, wood mouse, mole. Okay. And you're saying, is then to be picked up by critters who then take it back to their nest as soon as the animal goes to sleep, seed sprouts. So, I just need to figure out. Protected from predators by their coat of needles, they live in burrows in both field and woodland. So live in many burrows underground, they all they come above ground to graze. Larger and red, red and smaller roots, forages foods, but also digest some seeds straight away. They have uh, fine food and mates using their sense of talent, smell and touch. Iron trees, they sometimes forage food back to the nest to keep for later. They are small but live in woodlands, but also many other habitats including fields, parks, meadows, and gardens. So, clearly what I need to do is post this here. And then... Song by the Valley Quartet. So, and then we compare it to this. So I basically just need to find out which critter would want to eat this. Picked up by critters who take it back to their nests. Which one of these specifically mentions a nest? I guess. Uh, high in nests above the trees. Forge back food to keep in the nest for later. Uh, it forges foods, but it can also digest. So I think it's red squirrel. Um, 120. 100. 120. So put you in here. And. A. Nailed it. Picked up by small animals such as the red squirrel, who then store it inside their nest. Once the animal falls asleep, the ocelot depends upon the heartbeat vibrations to break open and bloom. Go to gatehouse. I think we are done. I think we did it. I think we finished the game on stream because the game wasn't 10 billion years long like most of the games I play. <laughs> what a concept! Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? See someone cartwheeling. I hope the gatehouse uh, note is uh, me getting accepted to be a professor at the university. Because I deserve it.
Oh, is it Avery the Frog from Gator Game? That's what it is. That's adorable. I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the former garden. Oh. Oh. What got dropped off? It just want me to post this? It just wants me to post this. Here we go. Enjoy. I did it! Game finish. No stamp. Nah, we don't need them. We're just we're just that much of a big name, you know? They see the name and they're like, oh shit, it's that badass botanist. Oh god. Let me let me go ahead and get this where it needs to go. Before they break my kneecaps. I finished the game, and we'll be finishing a game uh Tuesday as well. I was doing the math. Because I'll be playing Yakuza Sunday, I guess. So, got some solving the Oberdin. Oh no, Oberdin took me way longer. I'm like, oh my god, how am I supposed to know that, 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 that this dude's French? How am I supposed to know that? I mean, you know, obviously I know who this person is because I saw them get bopped, but. <laughs> Using racism. That plant was French, and you figured it out. I watched the French person play it, and they had words. Now, see, that's hilarious, because I watched someone else play it, and someone that was French got mad that the person that was playing it did not pick up on those French stereotypes. <laughs> the French person was like, oh my god, it's hilarious that you don't know about the most obvious French stereotypes. And they were like, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't know about, yeah. And they were like, that's hilarious. So. One year later. Ooh. Um. Oh god, I took my hand on my mouse for so long that the mouse sensitivity felt so slow. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get upstairs? Oh god, the mouse sensitivity is just low. Whoa, it's like the mouse sensitivity went down. Uh, by the Women's Education Union on the occasion of opening her Green School of Botany! Hell yeah! Look at that! Ceremonial key. I had too much trouble with it, but French person who was a game dev felt like it was extremely lazy, um, compared to everything else. Uh... I loved Oberdin. I think Oberdin is absurdly fantastic, and I would love more games like it. Um, it was very, very cool. I loved it. Look at our little school. Oh, I'm in the uh, the French person clue is lazy. Yeah, yeah, no, that that makes sense. I mean, it it, it was just something that's like ah hee hee. If you know, you know. Because that was like one of the last characters I figured out. My school bell. Forgotten flora lesson one: air purifying flowers, the windmill wart. Eliza, Jessica, Eliza's one of the ones we saw in the note, Catherine, Ada, Mary, and Thomasina? It's not a name I've ever heard. Hi. Uh, dear Flora, I'm terribly sorry for your herbarium didn't get picked up for publishing, though I am most excited about your new plans to turn Botany Manor into a botanical academy. I look forward to visiting the school and meeting the talented students you have taken under your wing. Let's hope to carry on our fight. Lots of love, Elizabeth. P.S. I hope you don't mind me calling you by your childhood pet name. Forgotten Flora. Inspect it. It's my book. Now... Oh, we're gonna go teach the class. I see. There we go. Let's go teach. You're a teacher? Uh, yeah. Basically, our book... Our, our, our herbarium did not get accepted, but we opened our own school anyway. So, yeah. Because fuck the haters, exactly. I'll teach, I'll teach all the botany to these women, and you will be so, so sad because botany is no longer a man's study. 